Oh, this is so embarrassing. I didn't even see you there. Hey, my name is Ben Schwartz. I play F. Tony Scarapaducci. The F is for fuck uh, in the show Space Force. Sorry, I came at you really hard there. Didn't mean to. I'm gonna give you a tour of our sets. Call it a set tour, if you will. This is the entryway. These are a bunch of buttons I've never seen. My character's never near these things, so I don't know what they do. Why don't we keep going? These are a bunch of people that I don't know if they know they're being used in this show. Come on down here. This is our atrium. It is truly a piece of art. I remember the first time I came in here, I thought it was unbelievable. I was absolutely blown away because it's incredible to look at uh, and also feels like you're in uh, a dungeon. Let me take you to the elevator real quick. Um, I've never done a scene in this elevator. This is what it feels like uh, when you're in an elevator and the door is closed. Oh, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna name all the planets for you real quick. Here we go, ready? Earth, Jupiter, Earth, Mars, Nunez, Franks, Tants, and Jutes. Uh, the way that we have established this is that actually all of the entire solar system revolves around the Earth, and the mistake that we made is that this thing is round. Holy shit, you wanna know where we pretend to eat lunch? Right here, little tidbit about my character in this area. Uh, only one scene, so that I have no emotional attachment to this room at all. This is, oh, this is embarrassing. This is a picture of me in college with my friends. Uh, that's Mark, that's Rob, that's Thomas, that's Luce. Um, this is so funny. We were uh, actually trying to stab a rock. That's the whole thing there. Anyway, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you that there are different rooms that do different things. Will this be shown by somebody else? No. So I'm not gonna talk about it, not now. Ah, but surely your friend Ben can show people this one, right? Or is someone else gonna show that? Somebody else. Cool, so I just get this fucking atrium? Great. Hey guys, I guess it's now my turn to take over this tour. And I'm here to show you Neil Armstrong's, which is the acai soft serve snack shack situation place that Aaron works at on the show. We have a slogan, which is one small snack for a man, one large soda for mankind, which is a play on this phrase that I guess Neil Armstrong said when he landed on the moon. My personal favorite is the acai 51. I'm gonna take you back around inside now and I'm going to show you how to make the acai 51. Wow. Lightning speed here at Neil Armstrong, you know what I mean? Another play on words. Top it off, I'm gonna do some uh, Captain Crunch, which is uh, Duncan's order on the show, and Aaron actually gives him a pretty hard time about it, but it turns out it's actually delicious, and um, both Spencer and I eat our acai bowls in between takes. Um, which makes it extremely dangerous to work at this snack stand, because all I wanna do is eat the cupcakes and the popcorn and not the bananas because who actually likes healthy food. This is Neil Armstrong. I hope you come back soon to get an acai 51. What? One of the fun things to do in this show is to walk upstairs. Uh, and as a character, one of the things I like to do is when you see my characters, I want my stair walk to be very unique. So you know it's me coming up and down the stairs. This is actually an emblem for Space Force. I uh, don't know how it was made, but it does make me laugh very hard. Uh, one of the things Greg Daniels likes to do in a lot of his shows is put a little Easter egg in here. So um, now would be the time where I would tell you there is one here, but I don't know what they are right now. Uh, I'm excited for Greg to tell us. But right here, this little golden disc called the Voyager Golden Record. This record is what you give an alien, uh, and then they, they sing the song, I think. These are the real guardians of the galaxy. The other guardians of the galaxy are fictional characters in a movie these guys watch while they're guarding the real galaxy. And this is where the magic happens.
This is the launch room, mission control for Space Force. How cool is this? I want you to tell me what all of this very cool stuff does. You do more fun stuff, but this is definitely uh, more easy lifting. I'll I just, just sit yeah. here. <laughs> I do more 100 degree stuff. Yeah, it's, right it's awesome. It's, it's You see a lot of great acting going down with uh, Malkovich and Steve. And John Malkovich pressed this button on the first episode of the show. If you press um, the keyboards, what does it do to the machine? Uh, this is called acting. They actually don't do anything, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, a lot of times we do this, um, or yeah. as you see some bad extras, they'd be pounding on mission control. But obviously, as you They're know. doing their best. <laughs> I like how many satellites there are. I don't know if that's factual. I hope to God we have at least that many satellites because I have a lot of pictures stored in the cloud that I need kept safe. And so we got the Daedalus, he's a cool DJ. I don't know if that's why, I don't know who was named first, the OB, satellite or the DJ. OB 101, o Ovo, yeah, that's, yeah. that's Drake. Which one would be your DJ name? I think I would be, a, I'd be two, I'd be Athena Saber. I would just be Keyhole, I think. It's gross, man. DJ Keyhole, baby. Why is that so sexual? The logo is one of my favorite things about this show. It's so good. I've, um, <laughs> I've asked for decals and uh, you know Stickers. patches and stuff. That right there. It's just a good logo. It looks real, but it also looks a little like whimsical and silly. I think it's. A, it's and it also perfect. looks a bit phallic, which is what I like about it. You guys have a lot more to see. We are not part of that, so go, go away. Get, get out of here. We love you. Get out of here. Wait, what, what do they say on MTV Cribs? Uh, crib. Crib out. Hey, you, you don't have to leave, but you gotta get the uh out of here, man. Do you see this over here? Can you see our hair and makeup people hanging up? And costume? Fantastic. It's just to show you that we're all a big family here. Guys, I wanna say, uh, I wanna say this is the end, but it's honestly just the beginning.